there we go. Uh, good evening, brothers and sisters. I am Brother Jasper. Uh, I want to share the talk for tonight. And the, what I'll be talking about for tonight is, you know, uh, unlocking the wisdom of the Lord. You know, for us, brothers and sisters, we know how to unlock the wisdom of the Lord. We have experiences it. We have experienced it ourselves, you know, and everyone has had the similar testimony uh, and then came to the same conclusion to be with the Lord as well. And we're going to go to, we're going to read, uh, go to the scripture in John 10. We're going to read the entire scripture, uh, John 10. Sorry. Okay, there we go. So we're going to start from verse one. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of sheep. To him the porter opened, and the sheep hear his voice, and he called his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. And when he put put it forth his own sheep, he go, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice, and a stranger will they not follow, but flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not what things they were, which he spake unto them. So brothers and sisters, and as we read this, we know who the shepherd is in this situation. It is the Lord that continues to guide us in each and every in each and every walk and each and every journey that we have. And it is the Lord that continues to accompany us in day in our day to day. You know? And as the as the shepherd know his sheep, so does his sheep know who the shepherd is. And the Lord knows us through the Spirit because we are chosen by Him. And we know Him for the Spirit that was given to us is proof that we are His. But a lot of people, you know, even, even in modern times, back then, you know, they can't even comprehend these words that Jesus spoke. And even today, a lot of people can't comprehend but the reason is, uh, but the question is why? Why can't they comprehend? It is because you know they're gonna talk. The the wisdom is not revealed to them yet. The moment we were, you know, we were given the spirit. The moment we were, you know, we repented. We lowered ourselves. We humbled. We humbled ourselves, in front of in front of the Lord. The Lord gave us. You know, the Lord gave us His blessing. The Lord gave us a spirit. And afterwards, all the wisdom from the Lord was added unto us. Uh, I believe it is, uh, actually, no, it was in, uh, it was in a Bible verse as well, you know. Uh, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and, and all these things shall be added unto you. The same happened to us, brothers and sisters. You know? all, all of our testimonies, the moment we, had you know, we had received the Holy Spirit, a lot of changes came to our lives. You know? But a lot of them included us uh, triumphing over challenges, over difficulties. A lot of, uh, and the first step is true repentance. And through that repentance, you know, we ourselves are renewed with the Lord in our in our minds, in our hearts, you know, we are given confidence. We are given a lot of things, and most importantly, we are given the wisdom to understand what the Lord has said. In verse seven, you know, since the people did not understand it, let's read. Uh, in in the time that Jesus was speaking to them, we'll read from verse seven. Then said Jesus unto them again. 
Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they, may, they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd, the shepherd. I am the good shepherd, the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. But he that is a hireling and not the shepherd whose own, sh whose own the sheep are not, who does not own the sheep, see it the wolf coming and leave it the sheep and flee it, and the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep. The hireling flee it because he is a hireling and careth not for the sheep. I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine. As the father knoweth me, even so I the Father and I lay down my life for the sheep. And the other and other sheep I have, which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice. There shall be one fold and one shepherd. Therefore doth my father love me, because I lay down my life that I might take it again. No man taketh it from me. But I lay it down of myself. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it again. This commandment I have received for my, from of my Father. Now, as he, uh, as Jesus was sharing this among you know the people that were that were gathered there, there's the you know, let's read from verse 19 and down. There was a division therefore again among the Jews for these sayings, and many of them said, "He had a devil and is mad. Why hear ye him?" Others said. These are not words of him that had the devil. Can the devil open the eyes of the blind? I was at Jerusalem, the feast of dedication, and it was winter. And Jesus walked to the in, in the temple in Solomon's porch. And then came the Jews around about and said unto him, How long dost thou, hast thou make us to doubt? If thou be Christ, tell us plainly. Even after all these explanations, they did not understand the significance, the meaning behind Jesus Jesus words because they were they were living not in you know in the wisdom according to what God has intended but they're still walking with the wisdom of man and those who are who have the wisdom of man cannot comprehend even cannot comprehend what the what the Lord has intended because what we read just now brothers and sisters you know it is also the Lord you know, uh, is also the Lord hinting that he is willing to lay down his life in order for us to in order for us to find salvation in order for us to receive the promise in order for us brothers and sisters to hear his voice to to gather together And to, to know who it is that we should follow. Because like it was said, I, Jesus is the shepherd and Jesus is the door. He is the way, the truth, and the life, according to another verse. And this, brothers and sisters, we know. But the people back then, they don't know. They, they're still, you know, they're still eager, more eager to put Jesus out to, you know, because, to, you know, chase him away because they don't understand, they don't understand what the Lord is saying at all. They cannot comprehend what the Lord is saying because they don't have the wisdom that God has intended for the followers. They don't have the wisdom that, that God has intended for you know, for the true believers of Him, the, the ones that worship Him. In verse twenty-five, Jesus answered them, "I told you, and ye believe not the works that I do in My Father's name; they bear witness of Me. But ye believe not, because ye are not My sheep." 
I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish, neither, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My father which gave them me is greater than all and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. I and my father are one. No. And still, no. the people no. took up stones, verse 31. The Jews took up stones again to stone him, even though, you know, Jesus was only, was only you know, giving, giving all these so that they may understand even so, the Jews took up stones, even though Jesus did nothing wrong. And Jesus answered them, Many good works have I showed you from my Father, for which of those works do ye stone me? And Jesus answered him, saying, uh, and the Jews answered him, saying, sorry, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, because that thou, being a man, makest thyself God. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, ye are gods? If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came, for the scripture cannot be broken, say you of him whom the Father had sanctified and said to the world, Blah, blasphemous, because I said, I am the Son of God. If I, do not, if I do not the works of my Father, believe me not. But if I do, that though ye believe not me, believe the works that ye may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. You know? All of these, you know, Jesus tried his hardest to explain what the Father has intended for, you know, for the people back then. But then again, you know, they just couldn't understand. They don't have, they don't have, you know, the, the capacity to comprehend the wisdom yet, the wisdom of the Lord yet. So. What happens is that you know, they, they tried to take him again, but he escaped up, out of their hand and went away again beyond Jordan to the place where John has first baptized, and there he abode. And many resorted unto him and said, John did no miracle, but all things that John spake of this man were true, and many believed on him there. You know, it's really wonderful you know, what the Lord has given us, brothers and sisters, with this. Because not only did we learn of the truth, you know, uh, the, the wisdom of the Lord was you know, uh, showed to us, added unto us. And we are given the Holy Spirit that continues to guide us. It is the one that continues to supply us with the spiritual food. And we must use the spirit, brothers and sisters, so that it will never die out. We're going to go to our next scripture. We're going to go to... Mark 16. Start from verse 15 until 18. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents if they drink. Any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. You know, along with the wisdom that is given unto us, that showed to us, we are also given a lot of power, brothers and sisters. You know, all of these brothers and sisters, we know that we can do through our testimonies, you know, through, through our experience as brothers and sisters. We know that... You know, we have this, we were given this authority. It's a wonderful thing that, you know, the Lord has given us the spirit, has chosen us, has called us to be his people. And along that, brothers and sisters, we are also given the privilege to understand, to comprehend the words that are, to, that are shared to us according to the scripture. Now we're going to go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2. 
We're going to go to from verse one until verse 13. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with the excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. I have determined not to know any, any to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified. I was with you in meekness and fear and much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but demonstration of the spirit of power of the spirit and of power. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but the power of God. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew, for they had, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of, of glory. But as it is written, I had not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God had prepared for them that loved him. But God had revealed them unto us by his Spirit, for the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth things of a man, save the Spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God, which things also we speak, not in words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. The moment we receive the spirit, brothers and sisters, it is when we, we were able to comprehend things of the spirit. It is... It is the time when we were able to comprehend the wisdom that the Lord, you know, has been has been continuously, continuously telling, you know, even in ages past, you know, in the time of Jesus, in the time of you know, of Israel, all these, all these, you know, all these things through the Spirit, we are given the access to the wisdom to know the meaning and the people of the world, you know, the princess of the world, like it is said here, you know, the wisdom of God is a mystery to them. They do not know it. They cannot comprehend it. But how come brothers and sisters that we are able to comprehend it? Sometimes it is as well. You know, it is because we were given the access to the wisdom by the Lord, by the Father, by God. And it is truly a wonderful thing that what we have received. You know, not only are we given authority and power, but also to understand what the Lord has been, you know, what the Lord has intended for us. And, you know, and the meaning behind each and every, each and every you know, uh, action the Lord has took for our sakes, for our salvation, and for, you know, for, for uh, so that the hope in this world has not died out yet. And brothers and sisters, you know, as we take on you know, each and every step of the way in our journey, we will face a lot of difficulties, a lot of challenges, a lot of strife. We might trip, we might fall, but we can stand back up again, brothers and sisters, because we know what to do. We are guided by the wisdom of the Lord, and we are given confidence by the Lord to continue the path to walk according to his word and his works. And yeah, that's my talk for tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord.